Alrighty then. Where were we? Just Pally. What are your favorite games you don't make YouTube videos on? Oh... Quite a bit. There's actually a few. One of them is... Uh, Mario Galaxy. I haven't played that in a long time. And, but actually, to be honest, I did consider making a few videos on it just to see what they, how they do. But uh, another one would be Legend of Zelda. Wow, wow! <laughs> Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. That was my first game I played on the Wii U. I got the Legend of Zelda edition that came with the game, and honestly, it blew my mind. The game was so it was just so charming in a way, and I love it. And it was actually then I actually did make a video of that in the past, but uh. I guess I would say uh, Xenoverse. I sure I use clips, and I haven't gotten to it yet. I think I pretty much use all the games I got for YouTube videos. But uh, another one would be Animal Crossing. Also, I don't really record that. I bet not. I also I have yet to test my Switch and see if I can record on the thing. But I like Animal Crossing, and uh, and I had Pokemon. And, which I really love. That game is great. Every every single Pokemon game I've played so far is good. Uh, Subnautica. Subnautica, for sure. I love that game so much. Out of all the modern games, that one actually made me give me a feeling of entertainment. Like I, like I was thinking about this. Like they don't make the games how they used to. Whenever I played my PlayStation 2 games, there was entertainment value. There was fun entertainment value there. I actually felt amused and fun and maybe come back for more. But most, most modern games are just multiplayer or not that good. But when I played Subnautica, it was one of the first time a modern game actually made me care. I actually felt amused and I loved it so much to the end. Especially the end. Holy crap. I love Subnautica. It's one of my most favorite games. And I also have Ark, which is fun when it's not updating and taking up most of my one terabyte Xbox One space. <laughs> the thing is freaking huge. But yeah, like I said, I don't think I have a lot of games that I play that is not for YouTube. But like I said, I do plan on doing playing them in the future, like Mario Galaxy, see if that does any good. But honestly, at the moment, I can't think of any other games. Like I said, I think I play most of them for YouTube. Uh, but I think I might have to come back to you on that sometime. Next question, Fat Fish. Do you have a girlfriend? No. I've been single my whole life. 24 years, in fact. Why do you have to ask? Why do you have to put me in this situation? I never experienced- I've been lonely on every Valentine's Day. And I pretty much spend Valentine's Day the same way every year. In the same room. In the dark. Just me. Computer. Xbox. Just pretending that the day doesn't exist. And just- Doing everything natural. Yeah. Why do you have to make me relive that? Why do you have to make, remind me of how single I am? I've never experienced it. I never knew. I don't even know what that's like. So. Don't ask me that question again. <laughs> it's not. I'm not going to ban you for it. It's just. I would appreciate if you don't. Next question. Minty. Do you even upload anymore? Does anyone check out my channel there is more than my tf2 videos have you ever thought about clicking that channel button i have playlists i have over nearly i have 900 videos nearly to a, near a thousand so why are you asking me that i have nearly a thousand videos of different games just uh, why people there is more to life than TF2. There is more to it. There's more games that exist. Have you ever looked outside the boundary, the the wall of TF2? There is more. Just open your mind. 
Try Subnautica. Try Ark. Play Mario Galaxy. Get a Nintendo Switch and try Animal Crossing and Pokemon. Do something. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Scorpion Games. What are your PC specs? No idea. I don't exactly <laughs> uh, memorize these things. I never care to know. Uh, it's not unlike my poorly out of date laptop. This new PC I got can run games a million times better. So as long as they work, I don't care. And so I honestly don't know. Sneaky Sly Cooper's Adventures. What do you use to edit your videos? Ziren D. How it feels to deal with hackers. You have no idea how annoying it is. I put up with them long before this hacker bot outbreak. I would go, I would wake up, go to my computer, run TF2, go to 2.4, and almost immediately or later on there is at least one hacker using a script or LMAO box or something. I have put up with them, like I have like at least a thousand hours, and all that was literally experienced with a cheater. And I even learned how to recognize one. It's not just how they play, but their behavior. And even when you know these facts and you try to tell other people, oh, they get so toxic and it's cancer. It's just, oh, you don't know shit. You're just an idiot. You're, you're a Rick and Morty fan or you're a JoJo fan, but why do we listen to you? Blah, 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 blah. And later on, he's cheating. It's just like, I just told you that. Even when I state that I learned how to recognize these people, especially with their behavior, if you say he's a hacker and they start like throwing slurs at you and swearing at you and calling you the worst names, it that's like the biggest giveaway. Because whenever I do assume a guy's a hacker and he acts like that, it turns out he is and he gets and he gets kicked. So it's like I think I know how to recognize one. I pretty much like learn their behavior and how you can tell by their gameplay. And it's honestly. It's just, it's annoying, but honestly, it's not as annoying as having to deal with the idiots in the TF2 community, just toxic and cancer. And, I honestly, am just, I don't miss that. Anyway, Subpain asks, favorite TF2 trailer? Another TF2 question. Anyway, um, my favorite trailer, I guess, would be... I guess the medic is okay. I like the spy. Before I started playing TF2, I was gonna get Orange Box and I would watch those trailers. I watched the sniper, the engineer, several times over and over. I think the my least one of my probably my least most viewed trailer would be Soldier and the Scout. I watched them the the least. Pyro, he's also there. I hate Pyro the passion. I wouldn't miss him if they got rid of him. But they won't, so that's a curse we all have to bear. We all have to endure. Pyro exists. Deal with it. But if he's gone or got nerfed, you know, it would help. It would help me sleep at night. <laughs> but I guess my favorite would be sniper, medic, and engineer. I don't know. I never really thought about it. I guess it just depends on which one I watch the most. Ball Scout asks. What is your future career plan aside from being a YouTuber? Honestly, um, I know I said I want my job to be, I want to be a YouTuber as a job, as a career, but if I, if I had to think of something to get money now, every time I think about it, I just don't know. Because honestly, I, especially, what doesn't help is I heard my sister come home with, and she would have stories at work. And which did not help how I feel about this, but honestly, I just don't want a job that makes me interact with people because I know how they act, and I really don't want to have to deal with it. I don't want to deal with their attitudes, psychotic behavior, I don't want to get assaulted, or especially be part of a robbery, you know what I mean? I do not want to come home with a bullet hole in my chest, you know what I mean? But honestly, I really just don't want to interact with people. And like I said, hearing my sister's stories about how people are at her work, I just don't want to deal with that. Sure, making money is great, but I just prefer, I just want a job that involves something I would actually enjoy. I don't want to work at a job that I don't really care for. I know that's not how the world works, but 
there are jobs that people are interested in, like, like my dad. Let's say he was he was compassionate about being a mechanic, and that's what he did. I so I would I think it would be best if a person worked a career that they would that has something they enjoy. And I don't think I'll enjoy being a cashier. I w would definitely screw that up. I don't want to be a cook. I don't want to be. I don't want to work at a gas station or anything. I don't want to work at my lo lo local Dollar Tree or Dollar General, make a very minimal wage. And also, I'm a night owl, so there are no jobs that are like later on in the day. So you, it, you can't get me up in the morning. I am very difficult in the morning. This is. I re I just can't drag myself out of bed. So being a YouTuber would work out for me because I could do it at my own pace. It'll be doing something I enjoy. I'm, Honestly, whenever I think about it, I don't know. I can never make up my mind. It's like, what would I want to do? But I do know that my future career plan is still being a YouTuber. And I really hope it works out. Zachary Barna asks, What games do you plan on uploading videos on? Well, I did mention this in the last question. Mario Galaxy I want to do, I want to do some time. I was also thinking The Wind Waker... But, I don't know, I don't want to play a very good, like a game I really enjoy and just make it, into, it'll just be one of those that nobody cares about. Like every other video that's not TF2 related. So it was like, it'll just be a waste of time, I want to do something I enjoy. So. And, other than that, I don't know yet. I think I did have an idea what I was going to do after Battle for Bikini Bottom, otherwise I don't know. I think I did have an idea, but I forgot. But I'm sure you'll know. Anyway, next question. Mr. Comic. May what your Sea of Thieves name so I could add you? Well, I only have it on Xbox One. And I don't have membership, so I can't play anymore. So I can't really tell you right now. As if you have the level Wow, I can't speak. Unless you have an Xbox One, let me know. Then I'll give you my name. But other than that, I can't help you. Jar of Bread 1, what type of bread do you prefer? Best Pro Shop. Best bread. I'm a bread eater. I like bread. Anything bread, I like it. I'll even eat a hamburger bun j just for a snack if I wanted to. But, uh, Bass Pro Shop, they give you tie over bread. It's like a dessert. It's delicious. It's like sugar bread. It's just so good and delicious. So, if you want good bread, if you like bread, go to Bass Pro Shop. For all I care, you just don't order anything and you just eat the bread and go. That's the best bread you will ever have. Egg, alright. Egging eggs with the Eggman. What is that name? Uh, he asked, how many times have you uninstalled TF2? Too many. Bone Bill asked, what do you think of the new weed camo in Modern Warfare. How the hell would I know? I don't know. I don't really care for weed. I'm not exactly an addict. So, and I, and I also despise multiplayer. I hate playing multiplayer. The only exception to multiplayer is Halo, where my skills actually actually give me a chance against other players I'm actually good at that I enjoy Halo 5 multiplayer especially the mode that has you working together with everyone against AIs but I sometimes play I do play other modes and I sometimes am the MVP sometimes unless they're unless the team is die-hard Halo veterans that pretty much know everything by now and they played it since day one since it's release, otherwise I would say I'm pretty fair and I actually feel some entertainment. Especially when you play TF2 for a long period of time, because when you get killed by someone in Halo 5, it's because of skill, not cheats. So it's like a relief, it's just like, wow, actual skill. I wasn't killed due to some weapon BS or... Some kind of hackers, you can't, you won't be killed and think that guy must be a cheater somehow. Well, not always, but still, like, sometimes, it just depends on how you got killed. But either they're a cheater, or it's some weapons bull crap. It's just... 
there's always some stupid excuse, no skill whatsoever. But I'm not gonna rant about that. That is for another video. But yeah, I don't like a lot of multiplayer games. I'm sure you can tell that I, by now that I like single player, like Subnautica, Ark. You can play with other people. I used to play with Jeff, but I would prefer to play by myself. And I just prefer single player games, and I wish modern gaming would have more of that instead of being hell bent on multiplayer. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not really interested in the modern gaming and wish it would be the way it was. Because even to this day, PlayStation 2 games that I have provide more entertainment than any other game released so far. Although I still enjoy Call of Duty and I like, I like Modern Warfare, I play the campaign. Mate Jad Dev I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call you Mate Jad. Will you play in future something else besides TF2? Yes, and I've been doing that. Try actually checking out my channel. I have 900 videos. Adrian Hebert asks, favorite Kingdom Hearts character? Oh boy, I don't know. There is a lot of characters. Like Donald, Goofy, Sora, I like Sora, Kairi, Riku. I just, if I had to choose a top favorite, I... Honestly, I don't know what I would go with. There is just too much. There's just too many to make up my mind. I love them all equally. Chunky Fat Obese Monkey asks, If you could change one thing about TF2 to make you want to play it again, fan play, the fan base, gameplay, bots, etc., what would you change? Oh, boy. Oh, where do we begin? Ooh, the fan base. Ah, the fan base. Ah, if I had the power, I would remove every single toxic person ever. Which would probably be 75%, if not 98.9% .9 of the community. The gameplay. Oh, I would change so many things. But the gameplay, I think is going to be directed mostly towards Pyro. Pyro can counter literally ev almost every single class. He has a solution to everything. Scouts, he can just air blast them into a corner. If he can get them on fire, he'll just shoot a flare, crit, instant kill, blah de blah de blah. Heavy, same situation. You can just hide somewhere, spam the scorch shot, fl or flare gun, crit, 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 crit. There you go. Soldier, demo. Oh no, I guess I'll just right click and air blast the freaking projectiles. Oh, he switched the shotgun. I'll just run at him and burn him till he dies. Or I'll just tap M1, light him on fire, swat to my flare gun. There you go. Degrees are for life. I will get rid of every single crit weapon he has. The Annihilator. I guess that can stay, even though, in my opinion, that's a crutch weapon. That's a baby weapon. It teaches you not to play with any skill whatsoever. That's what Pyro does. It makes you think like a sociopath. No skill, just focusing on getting those kills. Doesn't matter as long as there's bloodshed. I've seen so many Pyros just camp in the water, run back and forth. Anywhere that has water, they will hide with a Neon Annihilator. And as soon as they see you and they see he, you're wet or swimming, they will hunt you down relentlessly, spamming, holding the M1 button, swinging around like a maniac until they kill you and get that cheap kill that they did not deserve. Because, I mean, what's the point of getting a kill if you stand in water all day? You might as well go to the freaking beach if you love standing in the water so much. And the flare gun. Oh, boy, the flare gun. I would remove their crits and at least give them mini crits like the Scorch Shot does. Although, I will admit the detonator is okay. At least it has some other form of gameplay instead of shooting the burning targets you can do a little mini rocket jump at least there is some agility to that but it doesn't matter it's just the worst version of the flare gun because then you can still hit people behind freaking walls and while we're talking about hitting people behind walls let's change the short circuit because can you imagine how annoying it is how many times i hit behind a wall to dodge a spamming engineer and the ball goes by hits me anyway and i died even though i was behind cover and i wasn't even inside the radius of that freaking ball and pyro will go back to him flog is fine because you at least have to earn the meter and survive long enough to actually use the crits after doing the taunt and the back burner i use a lot and at least 
you have to use some form of skill. You have to use your brain and get behind people to crit their backs. So at least there's that. The, the greaser, I guess it's okay, but all it is is a tool to make people use their flare gun spam crap. Just quickly give them a little flame and then quickly switch and bam, there you go. Cheap kill. No skill required. As long as you can aim or you're right in their face, bam. Instant crit every time. Or better yet, instead of changing all these weapons that the pyro has, just remove pyro altogether. If they remove pyro, I will actually consider playing that game more often. And the game will be so much more peaceful. And everyone will probably be not as toxic. Because they don't have to worry about a flaming bastard hiding in the water. Who knows he could be inside your freaking toilet to shove the neon annihilator up your anus. F spam flare guns across the map until he gets that kill he did not deserve. And it just... <sighs> just for the love of all that is good, Gaben. Change the pyro! All, the only things that could counter him is gone, like the shield that gets rid of Afterburn now is gone. And they. And, uh, I hate Pyro! Otherwise, I don't see anything else wrong with the game that needs to go, the gameplay. Unlike most people, I don't whine about crits. I mean, do you have any idea how many videos I've seen people whining about crits saying, Oh yeah, it's, well, he's like, moments like this, and it has Cliff and then getting kills of crits. This is great, but this shows him getting killed by a crit is not okay. That's it in a nutshell. I was like, really? You're gonna whine about getting killed by, with, by a crit, but it's okay for you to kill people with a crit? Seriously? Make up your damn mind. Do you enjoy the crits or do you hate them? I don't have a problem with them. When I die, am I upset? Yeah, but I'm not gonna go, Oh, Valve, please remove crits. No. I'm not like that. I'm probably the only person who doesn't whine about crits. Uh, the only problem I have with crits is that I'm cursed. One of the re Every time I decide, like, you know, I'm gonna give TF2 another shot. I feel like sniping a 2-4. Go back. I died to so many crits. This is like... Really? I got hit by a rocket on the other side of the map. <sighs> but yeah, just change the pyro and the game will be a million times better. Oh, and that reminds me. Sticky Spam. Sticky Spam has got to go. Because that provides the same sort of mindset as the pyro. Easy kills, no skill whatsoever. I am so sick of seeing a demo man who never used a grenade launcher instead shoots the ground with stickies and spams the right the mouse 2 button over and over until it explodes in desperation. Only changing the weapon, when, like a different weapon like melee or something if you were close or they realize, or you're too close and they don't want to kill themselves. Just use the damn sticky spammer the way it's supposed to. Set up traps. How hard can that be? But yeah, change the pyro or get rid of him and do something and just stop with sticky spam. And get rid of the bots and f tweak the sniper again so people don't can't use scripts anymore. People are like, oh, it's just quick scope, it exists. I tested myself in TR Walkway on bots that run on a straight line and it would do 50 damage every time. I would do, I'm gonna take the same speed it would take for them to kill me when they step out of the wall for like a second and bam, I'm dead. And they say, oh, I'm not cheating. It's just, uh, you're just bad. You can't do blah, blah, blah. Like, no, that's not how the sniper, the scope system works. You have to wait for it to charge, and it doesn't charge that fast. So they're obviously using an exploit or a script that does that or something that gives them the instant headshot. So make it so it works the way it's supposed to and make them have to aim for at least a second for the bar to go up once for, to register the crit. I'm so tired of people doing that. But most of my beef is with the pyro. Please fix him or get rid of him. He has so many cheap weapons, and whenever I'm against the pyro, it's just not fun. He can reflect your rockets, he can blow away pretty much anything, he can put you in a corner and kill you or let the teammates kill you while he traps you. It's just not fun. He takes the fun out of the entire game. And he's one of the reasons why I hate it so much and I don't want to play it. That I just really hate the pyro he's probably one he's like one of my main big reasons i hate the game don't think it's all because of pyro pyro is just a big reason he's just like he's a big piece of the pie i would say 25 percent out of 75 like or at least 50 if he was gone 
I would actually probably reinstall the game and, tr and play it for a while. When there's not so many bots. Maybe. I'm saying maybe. If he was gone, I would at least go back just to experience the taste of freedom. But that would never happen, so I'm, it's not going to happen, and I'm going to go back. Do you have a TF2 community server for people to mess around on? What's with all the TF2 questions? And no, I do not. I can't afford one. My ass is poor. I also don't play TF2 anymore. Shrek is our lord. Just let me say, please stop with the Shrek. That's been rung dry. It is not funny at all. Shrek is love. Yes, I love the movies. But is he life? There is more to life than a fictional ogre. Anyway, the animations. Do you get tired of TF2 questions ever? Do I ever? Holy crap, I am so sick of people constantly bring up TF2 when it's a Kingdom Hearts channel. It's like, really? I don't do that anymore. I put it like I said I would on a TF2 channel. It's not here anymore. TF2, gone. Bye-bye. Please stop. I don't play it anymore. I put my TF2 videos on another channel, and it's like right there. If you go to my channel, it's right there. To Fortnite. Just go there for my TF2 content. If you like my TF2 content so much, go there. That's where I'm putting it. And after that, I'm done. I hate the game, and I want nothing to do with it. I would rather break my own hand than play that game. And for the final question, just the hoovy. Sandwich good or sandwich bad? A simple question. Also another TF2 question, my man. <sighs> um, I used to have the sandwich, but once the, once the second banana came out, that's all I use. The sandwich is good, but I just wish it didn't take so long to heal. I'm pretty much a lone heavy, so second banana is kind of my thing, because it's kind of like heavy who don't need no medic, like some YouTubers would say. And I don't usually have a medic, because some medics either ignore me, they're gone, like as soon like I'm being healed, and as soon as I go somewhere, and I need him the most, or he has an Uber, and I need him, I turn around, and he's gone. It's like, or like, I'm dead, and in the kill cam, it shows, he goes by me, so I can see what's behind me, and my medic is long gone, and he's not even dead or something. It's like, I don't even know what happened. I didn't see him die. I didn't hear him die. So it was like, where'd he go? Did he just poof on me? Did he just magically disappear? Marasm style, just huzzah! I don't know. So a second banana is really helpful. It heals a lot. Especially, like, for me, usually it's just like I have 100 health left or something, and it's just good to get it back up to max. And I really like the second banana, and I find it to be more useful for, than the sandwich. Because it heals you, like, whenever you need it. It's always charged. It's always there. So, it, but is Sandwich good? Yeah, especially when you heal your teammates. But usually, I don't have anyone to heal. I do sometimes try to heal, even though it doesn't heal much. But usually, I'm trying to keep myself alive. Because my team is nowhere to be found. Or they just suck and are already dead or long gone. Or leave me for dead. So... I usually I just stick with the second banana and I haven't used the sandwich since. But anyway, that is the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed. This went on a lot longer than I expected. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my answers and are satisfied. And I would love to do this again sometime. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Farewell, everybody.